Hi everyone, welcome back. Well, one of the joys of having stock is from time to time you end up with orphans or lost uh, stock. Today we've got a lost lamb. I don't know what's happened to its mum. Um, sometimes when there are twins, the mums abandon the weakest of the two lambs. This particular lamb has gone round to everything it can find to ask if it would be um, its mum. Um, all the cows said no thanks, so did the two dogs. Uh, so eventually we ended up uh, taking it in uh, and feeding it. This particular lamb is only a couple of hours old and I don't think that it had its first feed from mum um, before it got lost. Uh, so it's very important <clears throat> when they haven't had the first milk from mum uh, to get a colostrum supplement for them. This colostrum powder is available from a lot of the uh, pet food shops and a lot of the country hardwares also carry it. Um, it is quite expensive unfortunately but it does give a huge improvement to the chances of survival. After they've had their colostrum or if they have uh, been on mum for a little while and you know they've got their first drink, uh, you can go to feeding them just the, uh, the animal supplement uh, milk powder. Now this is not sunshine milk powder, this is a proper animal uh, milk powder um, and you can get this from a lot of the hardware shops as well in the country. Uh, you mix it in warm water with about 20% powder to, uh, and the rest of it water. Um, give it a good mix up. It always ends up with some lumps in so try and get the lumps out. This lot was unfortunately stored in a drum that had a bit of chaff in it as well. So we've got, uh, got a little bit of chaff mixed in with this lot that we need to strain out. We just strain it through a tea strainer to get the chaff and all the other lumps out uh, before we put it into the bottles to feed the lambs. They quickly get to know when feeding time is and they're pretty enthusiastic uh, when they start uh, hearing you making up their bottles for them. The lambs are funny little creatures and they quickly uh, start to follow you wherever you go. Uh, so as soon as you walk off from around the house they, they're, they're right behind you and usually you're trying not to stand on them. It's fantastic when they get old enough to start eating a bit of grass too and you can cut back their feeds from every couple of hours down to uh, two or three times a day. As the lambs grow up and become a bit happier and more healthy, uh, they start frolicking around. And it's great fun to watch them running and jumping and uh, leaping around the place. One of them still has a bit of a cough from his pneumonia, um, but he's just about over that now. Uh, so hopefully this nice sunny weather will um, we'll get rid of the rest of it for him. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, <clears throat> somebody's found it useful uh, when they've got orphan lambs um, they're not that hard to to raise up and keep them healthy and grow them out to be a happy healthy sheep um, anyway thanks for watching I hope to see you again next time bye